What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. If y is equal to 2u cubed plus 3u squared and u is equal to x plus the square root of x, find dy dx when x is equal to 1. Now, a couple of different ways you can do this. You can sub in this expression for u, x plus the square root of x, for all these u's here and then take the derivative of that big function. However, in my opinion, because we're given two separate functions like this, it's easier to just use Leibniz notation. And we went over that in the lecture videos. So dy by dx, we know it's going to be dy by du times du by dx. It's almost like these du's here cancel out and we end up with dy by dx. So what we got to do is we got to find the derivative of y in terms of u. So taking the derivative of this function, bring the 3 down, we have 6u squared plus, bring the 2 down, 6u. And then the derivative of du by dx is just going to be 1, the square root, or the derivative of x is just 1, plus the derivative of the square root of x. So square root of x we can rewrite as x to the power of a half bring the half down, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So now we have an expression for dy by dx, and we just got to plug in an x value of 1. So we would plug in 1 for this x value here, but notice that we can't plug an x value 1 here in this bracket. So what we got to do is we got to take this u value here, x plus the square root of x, and we have to find the value of it when x is equal to 1. So if we plug in 1 for all the x's, 1 plus the square root of 1 is just 2. So we plug in a u value of 2 into this bracket. So we would have 6 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 half x, or uh, rather 1, to the power of a negative a half. So here we would have 6 times 4, 2 squared is 4, times 6 is 24. This would be 12, 24 plus 12 is 36. And then 1 to the power of a negative a half is just 1, 1 plus a half is uh, 3 over 2, or 1.5. And then 36 times 3 over 2, that just gives us 54. And that's our final answer. That's dy by dx when x is equal to 1. So you use Leibniz notation here. Find the derivative of y in terms of u. Find the derivative of u in terms of x. Sub in an x value of 1 into this expression. Find what the u value would be when the x value is 1. And then sub in that u value into this expression, do all the math, you end up getting 54.